allergy sufferers will tell you it's been a really bad year so far, but finding out just how bad requires a little bit of legwork. It does. Three on your side's Carol Erickson shows us how uh, those in the know put a number on the spring misery that so many of us are forced to endure. It's early, but allergist Dr. Donald DeVorn is already leaving his busy office, eager for a little fresh air. His young patient, Hunter Bell, waits. So does Bruce Matthews, eyeing the board with the latest pollen count before getting... My allergy shots. Meanwhile, the nimble doctor heads up a set of stairs to a locked maintenance closet leading to the Swiss Alps of ladders, a straight shot up through the roof of the Mount Laurel Medical Office building. The air up here is so fresh, okay. you could sneeze, or at least scientifically count the reasons you are... With the pollen spore trap. We get an overall pollen count and number of grains per cubic meter of air. This year, the little slide from the spore trap is loaded with pollen. This has been a terrible season. We are at least two weeks early on all the pollinating trees and plants. Take this oak tree. In one season, it can produce more than 10 million pollen spores. 80% of it goes about 100 feet away, but 20% of it can go as much as 50 miles away. So the rooftop pollen catcher filters in spores from all over. Matching pollen picks from a book, Dr. DeVoren counts each pollen grain through a microscope. His daily count posted to the Asthma Center website and the National Allergy Bureau. Seeing more oak. Accuracy necessary to getting allergy shots right and to knowing when to avoid the outdoors in this early pollen season. Trees might be peaking now, but lawns are ready to fire. Dr. DeVoren expects to see sudden surge of grass pollen. Which will keep Hunter and Bruce glued to their seats in the allergist's office. In Mount Laurel, Carol Erickson, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.